Hey guys, it's Adrian Jensen from ProductionCrate.com and today I've got a simple one for you. The amount of work that you're going to put into this versus the amount of cool you're going to get out of it, it's uh, just going to be a real good ratio. Now if you go to the YouTubes and you search for tutorials on making fire with particular, you will find them but they'll range in quality from okay to pretty bad. And that's because making good looking fire in particular has never really been possible before until now. <laughs> Actually, it's always been possible, they just do it wrong. Really, what you need is some stock footage to start with. On Footage Crate, let's navigate to the Fire and Spark section. These are what we want, these fireballs here. To start off, I'm just gonna pick one and download it. Fireball number three. In After Effects, we need to prep this to be used as a sprite in particular. I recommend decreasing the resolution. I'm gonna change it to 400 by 400 pixels. You'll also want to move it so the fire starts in the middle of this comp and shrink it enough so that it doesn't touch the edges. This is our sprite. In a new full HD comp, we'll add a solid with particular applied and a new light, which we're going to name Emitter with a capital E. You can keyframe the emitter. I'm just going to move it with a wiggle expression. Drop in the particle comp and in particular, change the particle type to a sprite and tell it to use our fire sprite as the texture. For the time sampling, I recommend random play once. But you could also use start at birth play once or start at birth stretch depending on the look you're going for. I also recommend giving these a light and transfer mode as screen and ad can get real bright real quick and that's not necessarily a good thing. Now, in creating an organic looking effect like this, randomness is key, but restraint is, uh, it's, it's the other key. Okay, I'm not great at metaphors. So, when we go to turn up the rotation random of these particles, I want you to resist the urge to turn it up to 100. I'm going to go with maybe 10 or 15. This way, the fire won't all be exactly the same, but it's still all going to be traveling up as fire tends to do. In the physics section, you can add some negative gravity and some turbulence as well, if you feel like you need them. If your colors are getting a bit out of control, you can go to your sprite comp and add in a slight tint to help tone down those yellows. After that, I'm just going to add some glow, and guess what? That's it. Here's my project file for the shot where I composited the fire around my hand. I have the hand here inside a pre-comp. Okay, and so I actually have just the hand here. It's actually a green screen element. I shot it separately. You probably couldn't tell because my acting is so good. And then here's my particular layer. And as you can see, it has a suspiciously hand-shaped hole cut right out of the middle of it, but it also overlaps. The way that I did that is extremely easy. You just go into the particular plugin, come down to visibility, and there's this option here called obscuration layer. And if I turn that off, you'll see that my layering is no longer working. But if I turn that on and select my key, hand layer, I have that hand obscuring the particles. But it does make your edges kind of chunky. It doesn't really deal with partially transparent pixels very well, so that's just something to be aware of that you're going to compensate for. But in my final composition, I've added some extra glow on top, which does a pretty good job of covering those edges back up anyway, so that was okay. This obscuration layer has to be a 3D layer, so I do have my 3D switch checked on for the hand, and then I have a null in the same spot as the hand and it's kind of tracked to the hand and I have my emitter which is moving independently but it's parented to that null and I have the null spinning around. So my emitter is in 3D space and my hand exists in real 3D space as well which makes it so that when the emitter spins around it actually goes in front of and behind the hand. Oh and by the way here's how I did the lighting. I feel like I should get the next production crate trophy just for this. You can use this for whatever you want. Here you can see I've composited it onto a street, which I know doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, here it is anyway. You can also use it to reveal a title. That might be cool, but no matter what you do, please try and make it awesome. That's it for now. Bye bye.